what's up besties welcome back to the channel i just want to like preface this that if you see multiple videos or like not multiple videos but if you see a video back to back and i'm in the same shirt and makeup it's strictly because your girl works a nine to five so i only have certain days that i'm able to film so i like to just get them all out you know just film back to back to back if i can in a day so that's what we're doing today okay so if you see a previous video or a video after this and i'm wearing the same makeup and outfit it's just because it's getting filmed in the same day so yeah so today bestie we are going to do an anti-haul and this is just basically going to be talking about makeup that I'm not buying, any products that I don't plan on buying. One thing about me, you know, I talk about a lot of makeup and stuff like that, but I truly don't buy every single thing that I see, even if it's like a whole bunch of makeup that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this. But you know, me, like, look, I'm not rich, so I'm not about to go and buy every single thing. But also, you know, I'm going to respectfully do an anti-haul. I'm not going to bash anything. I'm not going to say anything mean or anything like that. I'm just going to strictly just give my honest and raw opinion of why I choose to not buy these products okay so if you haven't seen the new makeup releases video that I just did not too long ago it's up on my channel if you want to look at any of the new makeup releases I am gonna do another one soon um, but I think I'm gonna specifically do a Sephora makeup release type of video so be on the lookout for that that will probably come out like next week or something like that so the first thing on the list is elf so elf is coming out with a power grip dewy setting spray now one thing about me and i absolutely love the power grip elf primer i love this so much and by the way i have oily skin i love this power grip primer so much that i actually went to ulta and i bought a whole new one just like a backup i'm nowhere near done with this but i just bought a backup because i absolutely love this i have not tried the peachy shade of this because there's this color this teal green color and then there is a peachy shade. Um, they're both Power Grip primers. I don't know how the other one works, but this one works amazing with my skin. Um, I absolutely love this. Like, I literally feel like my makeup grips to my skin when I use this as my primer. So I see that e.l.f. is coming out with a Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Like I said, I have oily skin, so anything dewy just does not look I, I don't prefer that on my skin just because I naturally have oily skin so as the day goes by and like my, I'm wearing my makeup for hours I naturally look dewy and just oily and I just do not prefer that so anything that has a dewy finish I don't even like dewy primers nothing with like a glow I truly I just truly don't prefer um I love a nice matte base type of vibe so um yeah this right here I'm not going to end up getting just because I just I don't prefer a dewy setting spray because I have oily skin so anything that's going to give me like a glow it may look pretty for pictures and I definitely think that like anything that's dewy even if you're oily skin even if you have oily skin and you're like taking photos of yourself and you just want that dewy look I think that it's perfect for that but if you have oily skin I don't recommend dewy primers dewy setting sprays or anything like that because you're already going to have like natural oily like your skin is your makeup is going to look oily at the end of the day and I just I don't know I just don't prefer anything dewy so I will not be getting that so I see that ColourPop came out with a So Elemental 9 shade palette. And it's really just silver and denim blue. It's cute, but like for me, the reason why the for something for me to want to buy a palette, like I say time and time again, it has to be unique. It has to be something that I truly don't have in my other palettes because I really feel like when it comes to makeup, like you can easily just like have too much makeup when you just order so many palettes foundations concealers i want to go through my products and not just keep like creating more and more of a stash especially when it comes to foundations um and concealers and stuff like that i don't want to have too many because it's like i'm not going to end up using them all and i just truly don't want to waste my money but um back to this the color like 
those are pretty shades like I'm not gonna lie they're actually pretty shades but it's not something that I would gravitate towards I don't really use a lot of like cool toned palettes I don't really use or do cool tone makeup looks um yeah this is just I know I hate to say boring but it's kind of boring okay it's not something that I would just go and do a makeup look with I think it's very pretty if you're interested in like a cool toned silver blue type of vibe I think that would work good for you and I honestly haven't bought any new ColourPop palettes I, I haven't bought anything new from ColourPop um but yeah this is something that I would not be interested in buying just because I don't really do a lot of cool tone type of vibes of looks so yeah okay so next it looks like glam light and kiss has a little collab going on i'm not gonna lie the makeup eyeshadow palette i said the makeup eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow palette actually looks cute it looks cute um the colors swatched looks really nice um but this is honestly just not something that i would be interested in buying um the colors are cute and stuff like that but just not something that i would be interested in buying i'm not gonna i'm honestly not even like a big kiss fan anyways for me to be like oh my gosh i have to get this um it's cute it's creative but it's just not something that i'm interested in I actually have majority of these colors in different palettes anyways so yeah I like the idea but I'm not even a big kiss fan so this is just not something that I would be interested in going out of my way to try out you know what I mean yeah okay so Tarte has a tape glow blush bar so I'm assuming that these are like highlighted blushes it looks like it has like a yeah, it says that it is a baked blush trio for instant cheek lift effects, radiant pigments for a lit from within glow. For me, I mean, I like the idea, but one thing I don't like is like that bronzer shade. The bronzing shade doesn't even look like it would suit all, you know, everyone of all the different shades. Like it looks like it would suit the light to medium but like even me I don't even think that I would use the deepest bronze shade or yeah because it just doesn't look like it's really like a deep bronzer type of vibe um the pink blush looks pretty that little like mauve deeper berry blush looks pretty but that's not something that I'm really interested in I don't even really wear highlight anymore so I just don't think that's something that I would be going out of my way to buy so um no thank you but one thing that just bothers me is just like I don't like how when they come up with like bronzer shades and they don't come up with something that's like a deeper tone because if that's the deepest tone I definitely am like no thank you but um it's supposed to be like a I guess it's just supposed to be like blushes and highlights I guess if you're using the bronzer as like a little like glow type of vibe I guess but not for me like I just would not go on my way to use that so thank you but no thank you <laughs> So I don't have many products that I'm actually like, no, like I'm just standing on it. I'm not going to buy any of these products. So this is going to be a shorter video, which is good because a lot of my videos will be super long. So yeah, this should be a pretty short video. Okay, so the next thing. So Skin by Kim, they came out with a soft matte lip. They came out with a whole bunch of soft matte lip colors, lip liners, and a matte eyeshadow palette. The matte eyeshadow palette looks super basic, looks super boring, not something that I would be interested in because I have so many neutral matte palettes that it's like, it would be pointless for me to buy this because I have these in other palettes already. Um, the lip colors, the lip colors, they look decent. Like, I don't wear too many, like brown lip sticks or anything like that so I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy those the lip liners one thing I will say is that I'm trying to get into wearing lip liners and stuff like that especially when it comes to doing my makeup looks so the liners I would maybe be interested in out of the entire like collection but um 
Now the lipsticks and pass and the um, eyeshadow palette is just like I know it's just basic and boring and yeah no thank you so i think this is called is amaya beauty they came out with these lipsticks color infusion chalice lipsticks and honestly this just looks so silly to me i just could not imagine saying oh my gosh i just want to put on some lipstick right now and i take this out and someone looks at me like what the hell is that no i just it just looks crazy Nah, that's something that I would just definitely not buy. It's just, I don't know. How much is this actually? This lipstick is $88. Are you, hold on, when was, I don't know how much it is now, but from what I'm looking at right now, it said that it was $88. Probably when it first came out, it was $88 because there's no way someone would pay $88 for this. Like, that's crazy work. That's crazy. Um... And to be honest, the lipsticks don't even look, the lipsticks don't even look anything that's different, unique, that makes me want to get it. Like, the packaging is crazy now. Um, so, no thank you. I just could not. Can you imagine somebody being like, oh my gosh, I just need to put on some lipstick right now. And they just, like, take that out. I'll be like, girl, what is that? Like, look. No. Yeah, so this is just like a no. I'm just, that's not something that I would be interested in getting. Just thank you, but no thank you. Okay, so I did cover this in my new makeup releases video. This is the Rode phone case for the lip, the lip treatments or like the lip glosses. This just looks so crazy to me because I just feel like sometimes I put my phone in the back of my pants. If I sit on it, will it smush the lip gloss or like it's just, it's ugly to me. I wonder how thin it is. Is it bulky? Is it like... I, just, I get the idea, but I just don't like it because that's what I have a purse for, a makeup bag for, for my lip glosses. And I just would not get a phone case specifically only for one lip gloss to be used on it. Like, just no. I just, uh-uh, no. And it's $35 for the phone case, so no, like, mm-mm. I get the idea, but that's just not something that I would be interested in getting just because it's like... I don't even own any of the road lip what is it called the lip treatments I don't even own any of the lip gloss lip treatments so it would just be pointless for me to get it but um I see the idea but I just don't I just wonder how thick it is on the bottom because I feel like I don't know is it thin is it thick because you can't really tell in the pictures but it just doesn't look like something that I would go out of my way to buy you know Okay, so Tom Ford is coming out with a collection April 19th, and it will include an eye color quad, a lip blush in golden glitter, and a different lip shades. Hmm. And highlighter, and the highlighter, I need to see it swatched, but I don't think I would be interested in highlighter because I just don't wear a highlight like that anymore. I don't know why, but I just haven't really been interested in wearing highlight lately. I don't know if I'll be interested in the lip gloss either because I don't really like gold lip, lip glosses type of vibes. Like, I like my lip glosses to be just like purely one type of color. I don't like the glitter type of vibe in lip glosses for me. The lipsticks look boring and basic. It just doesn't look like something I would... Those are just colors that I just wouldn't go for. Um, not that I wouldn't go for them, but I know that I have... I would probably only go for the red shade or maybe the far right shade, but I mean, I don't wear lipsticks like that anyway, so I probably wouldn't go for that. And then the quad palette just does not look appealing to me at all. Um, the shades, the only appealing shade is that teal shade the other shades just look so boring and i just don't know how that would look on my skin tone like i just no so the entire collection is just something that i just would not go for i wonder how much it would cost because i feel like they're going to try to make it super expensive and that will also add to why i would not be buying it but um yeah that just does not look like a very appealing collection to me um thank you but no thank you you know Okay, Vessi, so that will conclude the little anti-haul that I had for you guys. 
honestly there's not too many makeup products that I would just absolutely say I'm not buying and I'm standing on it um but for the most part uh just the bank of products that i just saw and i just talked about is just like a no thank you like i just uh-uh not interested at all but yeah if you guys want to see more anti-hauls please let me know um if you guys want to see longer anti-haul videos too let me know so yeah if you guys want to see more anti-hauls please give this video a like thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a like thumbs up um yeah i will miss you guys until my next video and i will talk to you guys in a little bit bestie make sure that when i call you you pick up because I love to just talk about makeup with you guys and I just love having our little girl talks so I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye